we have driving exam in Hofheim am Taunus. It's a rainy day. It's pretty cold. Some uh, snowfall is also coming from the skies. It's a March 2023 exam and we are starting in Hofheim at the TÜV Service Center and we finish in Bad Soden at the Esso gas station. We are leaving the private property of TÜV in Hofheim to the right side and then we turn right again. The student set the wiper setting to automatic mode and then generally the wiper is doing it automatically belonging to the rain. If there's a lot of rain it's going quicker and if the sensor does not get hit a lot by the raindrops then it's not wiping so often. Please turn left to highway direction. The left wheels are placed at the center of our lane of the entire street. And we have to wait for oncoming traffic and for traffic coming from the left side. The examiner asked three questions before we started. Question number one was, please switch on Ablendlicht, the dipped headlights. Please switch on the wiper. Bitte schalten Sie den Scheibenwischer ein. And What's the minimum tread of your wheels? How many millimeters do you need minimum? Wie viel Millimeter ist die Mindestprofiltiefe am Reifen? And the answer is 1.6 millimeters. 1,6 millimeter. So now we are outside the city. We have left the last traffic light of Hofheim and we are on the country road. Here is the a uh, sign that um, deletes all the speeding uh, rules and on country road the limit is 100. We are heading to the highway and from the highway entrance we take one exit the next exit we drive out Frankfurt Höchst, Bad Soden, Königstein because we need to come close to Bad Soden for the change for the next student. Nice distance to the front car even if we drive uh, nearly 100 because it's wet on the ground we need, need double of our normal distance. The normal distance is the half of our speed. If we drive 100 it's 50 meters so it's the distance between the poles from one pole to the next is 50 meters and we just need minimum double of that distance. So Two poles distance 100 meters. Autobahn Frankfurt which was written on the direction board it's the right of the two lanes so change to the right lane but do not turn right here because here it's uh, going to Kriftel and Kriftel has a yellow sign it's just a country road we need the blue sign of um, highway Frankfurt. That's one of the biggest intersections we have in, in the area and sometimes the traffic lights uh, are not working, they are out of order and then immediately the city police is coming and regulating the whole intersection uh, with police regulation.
waiting time is planning time so right now we just have to keep the right lane behind the intersection we, we need to switch on the indicator and prepare everything for a right turn for the entrance to the highway back to green light start rolling and from here you see the arrow on the ground here you can start with the indicator but ignore the speed of 50 sign because we need to turn and turning with 50 is not possible here and again we get a yellow light it's coming to a red light she was lucky lots of standing times here you also can prepare there is a giveaway sign so if we go on and come close to the waiting line and the giveaway sign we should ignore it because traffic light is running so we do not take care about the traffic signs only if the lights uh, if the yeah if the lights are switched off then they don't want right before left rule there then we take care of the giveaway sign so that's the last right curve before entering if it's coming to parallel indicate left and accelerate yes getting faster than the truck and integrate it so here it is enough if we drive 105 110 the visibility is not so good in the mirror you can see uh, less than then it's dry on the roads yeah then we just do normal procedure a little bit more than 100 that's enough overtaking another car but the other car is also overtaking someone good and what do we do after overtaking driving back to the right side and nobody told her to do this this she was doing automatically because there were slower cars she didn't want to reduce the speed and she checked early enough what's up in the center lane and that's why she did it and she knows the rule after overtaking if we are done go back to the right side and go on driving there please take the next exit Frankfurt Höchst is it called and here you can see the number of exit 16 that's the 500 meter sign approaching and at 300 meters we start indicating but here is no 300 meter sign so you just start the indicator early enough then check the right mirror blind spot change early to the right side to have a long way of braking we need 50 to 60 for the curve 50 is better if it's rainy day if it's wet on the street Then bitte links abbiegen, Königstein, Bad Soden, Liederbach. Please turn left, Bad Soden, Königstein, Liederbach. We have two lanes going parallel to the left side, so it's better to take the, the right of the two lanes. If you start in the right of two lanes, your turn, you have to finish in the right of the two lanes. Otherwise, you crash the people in the left side. And we finished on the right side. Perfect out of the city which means speed limit is there's no limit there was no sign and we have a barrier um, between us and the oncoming traffic so it's the recommended speed of 130 please take the next exit nächste Ausfahrt verlassen wir die Straße 300 meter sign we indicate There's the exit moving to the right side. 
slowing down just a little bit because here's no sharp right curve so we can almost keep the same speed like before it's almost straight now we have speeding signs 80 and then 60 And we have two lanes going straight and you remember the rule if you have two lanes parallel to each other going to the same direction and you are outside the city by law you have to take the right of the two lanes and that's what we do we keep the right of the two lanes Red light is the best option. Just wait until the whole world got green light, except of us. In the exam you are lucky, later when you have your license you will be upset. All the way straight to Bad Soden in the area on the right side we also have been in exams but not today today we go direct way to Bad Soden am Taunus She was already changing the lane to the left side because she knows the roads and uh, then it's smart to change earlier because the right lane if we if we enter the city of Bad Soden, the right lane will go right to Aldi for example Aldi is there and that's why she decided to do it a little bit earlier and now you see the uh, direction board on the right side the left lane goes straight and the right lane goes right so here would be the latest point to start the process of changing but probably you have no big options because of uh, traffic behind you and yeah, it's more stressy so that was a good thing to do it earlier That's the main road of Bad Soden am Taunus, Königsteiner Street. Left side is the Volkswagen dealer, then gas station number one. Then you see the blue building on the left side, gas station number two. And the place where we will finish the exam and where we finished a lot of exams until now and we started exams is the blue, uh, not the blue, the red uh, gas station. So we have three gas stations behind each other. But it's too early to finish the exam right now. We did not do a lot of things. That's why we keep going. Fahren Sie bitte in den Kreisel und verlassen ihn an der zweiten Ausfahrt.
please leave it at the second exit. Blue car is driving out. Next one is coming. Green car and go. Now enjoy the life in the roundabout. Indicate right and then out. There was a third design again with an additional sign with a timing between 22 and 6 o'clock in the morning only for night times. So that means the speed limit right now is 50. Here you see it again on the right side. Speed limit is 50, but uh, because of many, many turning left and right cars, 50 is not possible to drive. Now we have a red light. She placed her car close to the white center line on the left side to keep the right turning lane free. And if we go on, we need to take care that we are not pulling our car too early to the right side. We have to keep the, the level we have until we are in the center of the whole intersection. And then we can pull it to the right side. Look, she's staying left, 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 left. And now she's pulling to the right side. Otherwise we crash the right turning cars. Uh, please turn right. Bitte rechts abbiegen. Parallel to our driving direction on the right side, pedestrians have uh, also green light, you can see from here. So you're checking both sides. There they go. And no one else is coming, well, then we can cross. Here's a real 30 sign without additional sign, so 30 forever until the next sign is coming. We were crossing the zebra on the right side. It's a traffic calm zone, walking speed area. They have to wait. We can go. And there's no additional priority sign. It's just you have to know that rule with the blue sign. Bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left. Here is a priority sign for us, but that does not mean we have priority before the oncoming traffic, but oncoming traffic is gone and we can turn. We enter 30 zone, then you should calculate with right before left rule. Bitte rechts abbiegen. Halten Sie bitte dem, dem nächsten Auto an und parken Sie rückwärts ein. Please stop next to the white car and do the reverse right parking. You see some snowflakes on the window. What a nice speed of parking. Perfect control of the car. And if you now do a mistake with your steering wheel and you drive so slowly, the mistake is not so big. If you drive faster, then a mistake with your steering wheel uh, causes more problems. So we are parallel to the curbstone. We are close enough. So we close the spot a little bit to the front. The front car is not uh, completely on the road. It's a little bit on the pavement, but no problem for us. Perfectly parked. She, she reported that she is done with parking and the examiner said, yes, perfect. We can go on driving. Straight reverse. Then checking the traffic front and back indicate blind spot and we can go on driving this road up.
and the student asked, links oder rechts abbiegen? And the examiner said, links abbiegen bitte. Because on the oncoming traffic, both streets are with uh, no entry signs. Right before left and oncoming traffic is free, so we can turn. The bicycle from the left side is not interesting for us, because he needs to wait for us. Geradeaus oder rechts? The student asked, because it's a dead end. And the examiner said, please go straight into the dead end. Check right before left and cross. Hmm, what do we do in the dead end now? Yeah, what do we do in the dead end? We will do the turnaround. Tech car is coming. No headlights. Passing park car. Turn right. Please find a turn. Uh, please find a place to turn around. And that's here. A good option. Reverse left into the street. It's a public street, it's just um, you have to overdrive the curbstone to enter that street. And that's always a good option. If you go reverse into a spot, you can go out forward and you see much better than if you need to go out reverse of the uh, turning spots. Blinker change, gear change and we turn right. Turning was done, so only one exercise is missing, the emergency braking. And I told the student, please drive the speed of 30, and when I say stop, you do the emergency brake as much as you can, and stop! Ugh. Perfect. Checking the traffic, mirror, Indicator, blind spot, and go. Nach links abbiegen, bitte. You have to check the right side, right before left. Or if you say it's my oncoming traffic, then you have to wait for them anyway. So it doesn't matter. The right street has the priority. Climbing more up the hill, obstacle on the right side, mirror, indicator, blind spot, and passing the parked car. Moving a little bit to the right side because on the left side is a street and if some right turner is coming out we are on the wrong side. That's why it was important that she remembers that she needs to go on the right side. We cannot stay on the left side there. This road here is also good for training, for reverse parking and emergency brake. Almost no traffic here. Talking about no traffic, there is one coming. Nächste Straße rechts abbiegen, bitte. Please turn right. Checking if someone is coming. Because he has only space for one car and it's better if there's someone coming from the right side that we wait for them. 
Here the student asked, um, do we turn right because straight is no entry. And the examiner said, of course, because left side is the forest, straight is not allowed, so we turn right. But find the right street. The upper street, the first street on the right side is also no entry, so we have to take the second one. Perfect, you see, if we turn left or right, we have a parallel walking people pass. That's why the student stopped. And we clearly got the signal from the pedestrian that we can go and then everything is fine. Perfect. Nächste Straße links abbiegen bitte. No oncoming traffic because this is a one-way street starting. On the right lamp pole, on the light pole is the one-way street sign without additional sign for bicycles, so not even bicycles are allowed to come out of that road. So the oncoming traffic is waiting for us, that's good. Bitte rechts abbiegen, please turn right. Thank you for waiting. Low speed checking, left side, and turn. 30. No oncoming traffic, mirror indicator, blind spot, passing the parked car, driving back to the right side. That's nice acting. That's how we need it in traffic. We have a priority sign for one street. So we keep going, 30 as a reminder. And of course, for all people who are turning from the side streets, they also need information that there's 30. Because it's not a 30 zone, it's just for that part of, that, of the street. Again, the priority sign for this street only for one street and a 30 sign behind. Traffic light for pedestrian is green. And then, bitte links abbiegen, please turn left. So you can already see on the left side the blue sign, uh, traffic home zone, walking speed area, oncoming traffic, taxi is uh, passing, and then we can turn in and then the speed limit 4 to 7, but it must be less than 10. And all pedestrians have priority in this area. If someone wants to cross, we need to let them go. One meter side distance, but one and a half or two meters even better. Especially if there's no oncoming traffic, can use a little more distance. Now it's the interesting zone because on the right side between the houses, it's the uh, walking way from the main train station. And sometimes many people come. So we are outside of the walking speed area and they don't want 50. That's why we get a 30 sign here. On the right side are parked cars, mirror, indicator, blind spot, passing. We can stay left side because no car is coming. And now we need to move back to the right side. Nächste Straße bitte rechts abbiegen. There's a blue sign that says everyone has to turn left by law, but only a truck, a truck symbol is below. So we can turn right. We have a stop sign. We need a full stop before the line. Zack, there's the full stop. 
then checking it's better to check both sides because we have a little more than 90 degrees turn to the right side and the front left wheel is probably coming close to the center line and we go on speed of 30 speed limit 30 fahren sie bitte in den kreisverkehr ein und nehmen die dritte ausfahrt please enter the roundabout and take exit number three Free to go, we are inside. This is number two, parking lot. And this is our exit. Fahren Sie rechts auf die Tankstelle, auf die Esso Tankstelle. Please enter the Esso gas station on the right side. No pedestrians coming. Driving slowly over this private property. And then just find a spot for parking, make a little left turn and then stop the car near to the vacuum cleaner on the right side. There's the vacuum cleaner. Good. And this was another fast driving exam. Congratulations.